Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to write a cover letter for a PhD application. In this tutorial, I'll write an example letter that can be used for those that need to submit an academic cover letter as part of a PhD application. And once you are done writing your own version, I would advise you to download matching and professional looking resume and cover letter templates. Click on the link in the description for more information. Now before I get started, let me first emphasize on the most important tips for writing a PhD application letter. First off, pick a standard font and font size that is easy to read. For example, Verdana, Arial or Times New Roman with a 10 to 12 point font size is most suitable. Stick to a word count of around 300 to 400 words on a one page document and divide your letter into four paragraphs. Secondly, choose a proper greeting for your cover letter. In the context of a university, there are three options. Dear Mr. or Miss Spencer, Dear Dr. Spencer or Dear Professor Spencer. I don't choose Mrs. as the abbreviation, unless you know that the contact person is a married woman. And if you write to an unknown recipient, then I would advise you to write Dear Sir or Madam. Thirdly, don't be vague in describing your interest and motivation. Saying that you enjoyed your physics undergraduate course, or that you find physics interesting, won't direct the reader's attention. After all, they already assume your interest in this subject, or else you wouldn't apply for the PhD program. Instead, Inform the reader about your particular courses and or topics that interest you most. What have you learned from them? And why do you want to further educate yourself in this subject? Fourthly, a cover letter is a supplement to your resume or CV. And that means you need to provide context to skills and personal traits listed in your resume. For example, if you claim to obtain analysis and problem solving skills, then you need to substantiate these statements with measurable results. So what have you achieved in numbers, statistics or awards you've been granted? At last, choose a proper closing salutation for your cover letter. For example, kind regards, best regards, or sincerely. Yours sincerely is British, and Americans tend to reverse the order and write sincerely yours. Nowadays, sincerely is a common and acceptable close for American cover letters. You can also write yours faithfully, which can be used when the recipient is not addressed by name, like in Dear Hiring Manager. It is a British usage, and yours truly is the American equivalent. Alright, that's it for the most important tips for PhD applicants. Next up, I want to start writing the cover letter example. First, you need to list your contact information on the left side. In between white lines underneath, we put the date and then the reader's name and job title, followed by the university's information. As for the salutation, we write Dear Mrs. Spencer. And this is how you structure an American English cover letter. Now for British English, you need to put the contact information and date on the right side. After that, you need to put the date first, then the month, and exclude the comma. Underneath we notice that the subject is included in the British English letter. It is commonly used in the UK, but usually left out in the US. For American usage, the month is placed first, followed by the date, and you need to insert a comma between the day and year. Now we also include a dot after the abbreviation MR or MS, and for British English, you can leave it out. In the first paragraph, you need to show your interest and clearly state which program you apply for. Inform the reader about your background and that you seek a program to leverage your experience. In the second paragraph, you shortly introduce yourself followed by a motivation to apply for the PhD program. The objective here is to focus on a program that houses faculty members whose work is interesting and whom you want as an advisor or mentor. And by doing so, you present a motivation that is based on the faculty's research interest rather than the institution and its rank. In the third paragraph, you need to like this video if you like what you see so far and subscribe for more support on PhD applications. Okay, so match your qualifications to the requirements. Don't list your skills and experience like you do in your resume, but instead provide context, preferably with numerical or statistical information. A key here is to convince the reader that you actually obtain the necessary qualifications. In the last paragraph, you need to refer to your attached recommendations and resume. Make sure to include your phone number so they can easily reach out to you. And at last, you thank the reader for their time and consideration, and you close in a compelling way. So kind or best regards, followed by your name and surname. Alright, so we touched upon important tips for PhD applicants. And we actually made an example letter of around 300 words and 4 paragraphs. If you want to see this example and all of my other examples in text format, then visit my website via the link in the description. I want to thank you for watching and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will respond as soon as possible. 
And if this video was helpful, then a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. Want more introduction and closing paragraph examples? Then check out my other videos. Other than that, thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye.